Matthew Etherington is an English former footballer who played as a winger. Born in Toro, Cornwall, Etherington started his footballing career at Peterborough United and was a standout performer for the posh, which attracted the attention of Premier League clubs. He joined Tottenham Hotspur in 2000 along with Simon Davis. He struggled at Tottenham and left for West Ham United in 2003. At the East London club Etherington showed his true form and became a vital player for the Hammers. However he had personal problems related to an addiction to gambling and in 2009 was sold by manager Gian Franco Zola to fellow Premier League side Stoke City. At Stoke, Etherington became a vital member of the side under manager Tony Pulis, winning the Player of the Year award for the 2009 Euro 10 season and also played in the 2011 FA Cup final. Etherington remained a regular under Pulis in 2011 Euro 12 and 2012 Euro 13 before he was released by Mark Hughes at the end of the 2013 Euro 14 season. Club career equals Peterborough United equals Born in Toro, Cornwall, Etherington came through the youth ranks at Peterborough United after being spotted by Barry Ferry playing for Falmouth Town under 14s. He made his debut in the Football League aged 15 years 262 days, in a 2 Euro 1 win at Brentford on May 3, 1997. He made a further two appearances in the following season but made his breakthrough into the first team in 1998 Euro 99 when he made 33 appearances in all competitions scoring three goals. He went on trial at Manchester United in July 1999, but at the end of December 1999, he joined Tottenham Hotspur in a deal that valued him at a £500,000. He made a total of 58 appearances for Peterborough in all competitions, scoring six goals. Equals Tottenham Hotspur equals, Etherington joined Tottenham Hotspur from Peterborough in a move that saw Simon Davis join the North London club as part of the same deal. He struggled to establish himself during his three-year stint at Spurs and, in 2001, spent two months on loan to Bradford City, where he made 13 appearances and scored one goal against Watford. Having only started five Premiership games since arriving from Peterborough in 1999, he handed in a transfer request in June 2002 saying that he had decided that his career would be best served away from Spurs. However, no transfer was forthcoming but he broke into the first team during the 2002 Euro 03 season when he made 25 appearances despite a layoff with an ankle injury. He scored his first Premier League goal in a 2 Euro 2 draw with Everton on August 17, 2002. In August 2003, he joined West Ham in an exchange deal plus cash for Freddy Knapp to copyright amid a formal complaint made to the FA by Peterborough at the valuation placed on Etherington, who would have benefited from a sell-off clause had it been greater than a £500,000 the price at which Peterborough sold Etherington to Tottenham in 1999. Etherington made 51 appearances for Tottenham, 28 of these as a substitute, scoring two goals against Bolton in the FA Cup and Everton in the league. Equals West Ham United equals, Etherington joined West Ham at the beginning of their two-year spell in the second tier of English football, playing the final season of the first division and the first of the championship. Signed by manager, Glenn Reader, he was part of a transfer deal which saw West Ham player Frederick Cannett move to Tottenham and Etherington and a £3.5 million coming to West Ham. His West Ham debut came on August 9, 2003 as he created the chance for David Connolly to score West Ham's winning goal in a 2-1 away win at Preston North End. His opening goal came just over a month later, on September 16, 2003. Now under the managership of Trevor Brooking, following the sacking of Glenn Reader, West Ham beat Crew Alexandra 3-0 at Gresty Road in the first ever league meeting between the clubs, with Etherington scoring the third goal. His only red card during his West Ham career was in a 1-1 away draw with Norwich City on February 21, 2004 when he was sent off for two bookable offences. Etherington was a big hit at Upton Park scoring several goals including a hat-trick in a 5-0 win over Wimbledon on March 9, 2004. 
he won the Hammer of the Year award in his first season at the club and played a huge part in helping the club get to the 2004 championship playoff final by scoring in the 2 0 0 win over Ipswich Town in the playoff semi final second leg. Etherington played in the final as West Ham lost 1 0 0 to Crystal Palace. The following year, West Ham reached the playoff final again with Etherington setting up the goal in the final against Preston North End with a perfectly timed cross which was scored by Bobby Zamora, which sent West Ham back into the Premier League. In season 2005 June, West Ham made the FA Cup final before losing on penalties to Liverpool. Etherington scored in the 4-2, fourth round win against Blackburn Rovers and played in the final at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff in May 2005. He was a regular member of the team for seasons 2003 a 04, 2004 a 05 and 2005 a 06, his appearances being more sporadic in the following three seasons. Etherington eventually lost his place in the starting eleven due to Gianfranco Zola's preference to play younger players. He completed 195 games for West Ham, in all competitions, scoring 18 goals, before being sold to Stoke City on January 8, 2009. Equals Stoke City equals. On January 8, 2009, Etherington completed a transfer, thought to be for a £2 million, from West Ham United to Stoke City, signing a three and a half year contract. He made his debut for Stoke City two days after his transfer, against Liverpool in the Premier League, in a game which finished goalless. He was sent off in his fifth game with Stoke for kicking out at Danny Collins as his side lost to a Euro 0 to Sunderland. He scored his first goal for Stoke in a 4 a Euro 3 League Cup win over Blackpool on September 22, 2009. Etherington scored his first league goal for Stoke in a 2 a Euro 2 draw with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Etherington went on to have a successful season for Stoke which led him to win the Player of the Year award. Etherington signed a new four-year contract with Stoke on July 11, 2010. Etherington started the 2010 Euro 11 season in fine form providing a number of assists from corners and left midfield. He scored his first goal of the season in a 3 Euro 0 win over West Bromwich Albion and followed this up by scoring a last-minute equaliser against Manchester City a week later and then scored another against Wigan Athletic. He scored the opening goal in the FA Cup semi-final as City beat Bolton 5 a Euro 0 clinching a first FA Cup final appearance in their 148-year history. Etherington described the performance as the game of their lives. On April 28 in a match against Wolverhampton Wanderers Etherington tore his hamstring leaving him in doubt for the FA Cup final. He did make the final as Stoke lost 1 a Euro 0 to Manchester City. In the 2011 Euro 12 season Etherington was again the club's only recognised left winger and he scored twice against his old club Tottenham Hotspur on December 11, 2011. After some indifferent performances he has admitted that his form has dipped since last season. He made his 100th Premier League appearance for Stoke against Fulham on February 11, 2012. He scored the winning goal against Norwich City on March 3, 2012. Etherington lost his place in Tony Pulis' starting lineup at the start of the 2012 Euro 13 season due to the signing of Michael Keitley, which has restricted him to making cameo appearances from the bench. He regained his starting place in November 2012. However, Etherington struggled with form and fitness throughout the campaign. He made 33 appearances in 2012 Euro 13 as Stoke finished in 13th position and the end of the season Tony Pulis was replaced by Mark Hughes. Hughes changed the team's style of play for the 2013 Euro 14 season, and whilst Etherington stated that they have adapted well, a lack of goals is still a concern. As the season progressed Etherington lost his place in the side to Alsama Asadi, and left Stoke at the end of the 2013 Euro 14 season. After leaving Stoke Etherington began training with Millwall and had an offer from manager, Ian Holloway to join the club. He turned this down and announced his decision to retire from football in December 2014, due to a back injury which he had been carrying for some time. International career, Etherington appeared for the England under-20 team at the 1999 FIFA U-20 World Cup, playing alongside players such as Stuart Taylor, Ashley Cole, 
Peter Crouch, Lee Knuvel and Andy Johnson. However, the team failed to score a single goal in their three group matches, and finished bottom of their group. Personal life, Etherington had a gambling addiction while he was at West Ham United, who paid him a £300,000 loan, after he accumulated debts in excess of a £800,000. He also spent time at Tony Adams' sporting chance clinic. Matthew's father, Peter, has thanked Stoke City for saving his son's career and helping him to combat his gambling addiction. In 2015, Etherington spoke to BBC journalist, Victoria Derbyshire, concerning the impact of gambling on professional footballers. His own debts caused by gambling throughout his career were given as a £1.5 million. He grew up supporting Liverpool. Career statistics, as of match played May 11, 2014. Honours, West Ham United, FA Cup runner-up, 2005 a Euro 06, Football League Championship playoffs, 2005, Stoke City, FA Cup runner-up, 2010 a Euro 11. Equals individual equals, West Ham United Player of the Year, 2004, Stoke City Player of the Year, 2010. References External links, Matthew Etherington Career Statistics at Soxabase, Profile at Up the Posh. The Peterborough United Database, Premier League Profile.